How special was it putting this film together, being part of it all? Uh, I was, I mean, to, to be directed by Ben for the first time, not really the first time, he's been directing me for, for 40 years, like, <laughs> but officially for the first time. And to have it be the first movie for our company uh, was really, really exciting. And we just got this awesome group of actors, and it, it, was, it was the best summer job I ever had. Indeed, indeed. And then uh, what did Michael Jordan think of it? Did he, did he finally see the movie just yet? I know Ben's talking to him I think he was I think he was the review was positive but I, I have to say like what we, we we really got a lot of great direction from MJ and and you know that George Raveling was important that Howard White was important and and really that his mother was as pivotal as, as she was that changed the screenplay we really changed the story based on what on, on, on his input um, because we really wanted to get right what was important to him and it's not a literal account of everything that happened and exactly everything Thing that everybody said and when they said it, but it's it's really about capturing the spirit of of what of, of, of what that deal was and what and what he was to everybody. Well, I think you captured it. And you got your family here tonight, Andy. Uh, yeah, the kids are here, and yeah, it's, yeah Well, yeah, my, my oldest is back in uh, on the East Coast because we're working on a movie right now. But the youngest three are here with Lucy. Yeah. Before you go, your favorite thing about working with your good friend Ben? Um, well, I say it so he can't hear. No, he's he's a brilliant director. He really is. I mean, that's not news to anybody. I mean, he's, he, won, he won a Best Picture Oscar already, so I think people people are aware. But uh, it was just, it was really, really great working with him, and I'm looking forward to doing it again soon. So tell me about bringing this story to the big screen. Why would you want to do it? Because, you know, we started this company, this sort of movie studio, basically, a, a small version of one that's to make movies in a different way, which would, would really look to work with the best, br most brilliant artist behind the camera and in front of the camera, and really do it in an efficient way because they are able to do that and, and compensate them in a f more fair way and hopefully make better movies. And because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to movies like this to work. I wanted to make a movie that people wanted to see. That wasn't a sequel. That wasn't an action, you know, venture effects thing. It was just, which I love those movies, but there also, it, there's room for movies about people and the, perform, the performances and the writing and creating empathy. And, and uh, that's what I wanted to do. And I was lucky enough to get this incredible array of, of talented people to do it for me, basically. Okay, your conversations with the GOAT, with Michael Jordan, what was that like? Was it nerve-wracking for you? I mean, how was Listen, that? I did not, I was not going to make, do anything. Even the Michael is not in the movie. He's not appear in the movie. It's not the Michael Jordan story, right? Mm -hmm. He's, to me, he's a larger-than-life sort of too famous, too big, too iconic to be in the movie. If you saw him and I was asking you to believe that somebody else was Michael Jordan, immediately the whole thing falls apart. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, but I, you know, out of respect for who he is, what he means, what he represents, presents uh, and really understanding at least you know to some degree how serious the thing that is I just you know I wanted the opportunity to say look hey look I, this thing came across my desk but I just won't do it if it's in, in any way in conflict with if you don't want me to how about that and you know he actually it was not a long conversation he had a couple of things and really it was all about including other people who were important to him Howard White George Raveling and, and his parents and, and in particular uh, his mother and, and the importance of the role she played and and uh, I just, I was really fortunate that he gave me his time. And then getting to direct your longtime friend, Matt Damon, in this, how was that, too? Uh, was, that was the joy of my professional life, you know, getting to work with my friend. And that way, you, the work is, turns out to be a lot of your life. You know, it's like if you have to just, a lot of folks do, you got to grind it out and kind of, you know, punch your uh, punch the clock and make a paycheck. And that's, that's, there's a lot of nobility in that. It's hard. But if you're lucky, you can, you can find a way to work with people that you love. And then, you know, as I say, you, you never work another day in your life.